All right. It's Mayor Rudy Giuliani, always amazing to see you. Love you. Sorry. I'm, oh. I, I'm, a, I'm just so honored, always, as always, to uh, interview you, sir. Mayor Giuliani, what would you do? What would you have done if this case was brought before you? You prosecuted a lot of cases before you became New York City mayor. You were a, a you know, prosecutor. What would you have done if somebody said, here's the case, prosecute this? Well, here's what I would have done. I would have told them to go to hell. I had it happen. It looks like we're having some audio issues there. Uh, we go way back to 20, 19, uh, 1980. Somebody cut off Rudy before he gets deeper into this story from 1870. I'm not sure what year he was pushing for because his damn connection sucked. Now I understand. Um, I don't have much of a leg to stand on here because we've had these issues previously. But uh, Rudy Giuliani appears to have a track record when it comes to these types of things. But that was the beginning of a very in-depth interview apparently where he has, I guess, this to say. And it's the, it's the usual downfall of a great republic when uh, the pr prosecution system is turned into a political device. Uh, you, you, could, you can look at ancient history and you can see uh, this is the kind of thing that ends a civilization. It's a bad thing when a prosecution system turns into a political device. Um, again, and I said it earlier, from the party with tons of folks who surrounded former President Donald Trump and chanted, lock her up, lock him up. And any name that he tossed out there that he gave a stank face to, they went lock them up based off of his direct disdain for them. Sounds like political uh, <laughs> a political violence towards folks, or at least trying to get them in jail for their political views. But it's the end of a civilization. I have thoughts about the use of that term, though. Uh, but I don't want to step on you too much here, uh, uh, Burbank. What's your thoughts on old Rudy? Yes, it's the end times. Well, here's what I think <laughs> when I think about Rudy. Uh, he can. Uh, I think Rudy Giuliani can go to hell. And. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's really funny what he did there. I love it. I awesome. I think the fact that this is happening on CNN, probably a, a primetime interview where they had a lot of viewers watching. Of course, I've only seen it afterwards when JR sends it to me, but it's just so good uh, to see Rudy Giuliani act like this and talk about the end times and the, the justice system being used for political reasons. Newsflash, Rudy, it always has in the United States of America. There has never been a time where the justice system system had any ounce of, of democracy throughout it in the United States. I mean, when we think about who was arrested by the police, when we think about how trials tend to happen, the justice system in the United States has, has never brought about justice. It's brought about punishment towards people who are inconvenient, towards rich white folks that are running the system. And that's not really at all an exaggeration, even today. When you see folks who can't even afford to take the bus to get to their hearing after they were arrested for whatever reason, haven't even been convicted of a crime, but guess what? Now they have a criminal charge against them because they couldn't get to their court date for the crime of being poor. And then you have folks who can pay for a really pricey lawyer and get an appeal. I mean, the justice system is used to protect property and prosecute people uh, who are not complying with the system by working for all of their waking hours so that they can afford the small bus fare to go to the courthouse to have this hearing. Because maybe they were just walking down the street and the cop didn't like their attitude. I mean, these kinds of scenarios play out all the time. And for them to say that prosecuting Donald Trump would be the downfall of civilization. Come on, man. And then they list the seven to eight things that he's being investigated for and then they think that sounds good. Well, it could be uh, the, the phone calls that he gave trying to turn over the election. It could be his inciting of a riot. It could be his payments to a former uh, porn star that he slept with who's trying to get hush money for. It could be so many different things. Who knows, they keep coming after him. Maybe he should stop doing it. You can't do the time, maybe uh, don't do that crime. But one last thought, because they, they talk about civilization. And uh, uh, Steve King from Iowa, who's been ousted for being a super white supremacist, uh, like to talk about the end of civilization all the time. But he was talking about it when it comes to what real civilization is, which is white Western culture, he liked to talk about. That's the same thing. These buzzwords also get used by Rudy Giuliani here. Because the only time that civilization ends is when old rich white folks 
have to uh, have are facing any level of consequences for the things that they've done. When it's anyone else, that's just good old normal American justice system. Weird how that works, isn't it? 